The Harvest is back. It's the penultimate episode. We're so close to the end of the season. We're done with these interviews very soon. Joe Heineman joins us today from Baylor. And uh, let's start it off with you had a game today and you, you did pitch an inning. How did you feel about your performance today? Um, you know, it wasn't my best outing. Um, it was a tough game. It was back and forth. Uh, TTU just swung about really well. Um, and uh, I don't know, it was a tough one today. How do you feel about your season overall, Baylor, this year? Um, you know, again, it's been up and down. We've had some good moments and some bad moments. Um, you know, this season we've kind of beat us, beat ourselves up on the little things. I think if we um, would have cleaned up some of the mental errors, we would have uh, had some of the closer win or closer losses would have been wins for us, but. Uh, Overall, it was a good, uh, good experience for me. Um, I got a lot of appearances, so you know, next year will be a better season. What kind of role are you playing with the team right now? Um, so I would say I'm kind of a late inning uh, guy out of the bullpen, kind of um, seventh, eighth inning guy. I think the earliest I would go into a game is maybe the sixth. Uh, if we were into trouble, but uh, mainly a late inning bullpen guy, and then, but not our closer. We have a we have our closer in Troy Montemayor, so I'm kind of like the setup guy for him. When you you said you were really looking forward, obviously, to your next year. When you look at this summer with the Sweets, how do you think that that will prepare you for next year? And what are you trying to do with the Sweets for that to happen? Yeah, so um, I think this summer will give me the opportunity to work on a third pitch. Um, it's kind of in develop, development right now. I mean, Coach Strauss kind of talked about uh, a slider. So I'm trying to work on that. And, um, you know, there's a few other little things that I want to work on. Um, mainly just being consistent with strikes, working both sides of the plate, and uh, trusting my pitches to, uh, you know, just more experience will make me a better pitcher. What are your other two pitches? Uh, fastball and the changeup. And which one do you feel most confident in? Definitely my changeup. Uh, I'm not going to overpower you with anything uh, like 95 or any of that stuff. I'm not a power fastball pitcher, but um, I kind of work backwards throwing my changeup. When you when you look at your role for the Sweets this summer, do you want to play that same back-end kind of guy in the bullpen? Um, I want to what our coaches had to say in my exit interview um, the fall prior to this spring season I was uh, actually working in as a starter so you know I feel like I can work to be a starter type role but if they tell me um, you know just keep working as a back end bullpen guy then uh, I'll keep doing that I'm very flexible so I'll just have to see what my coaches say when you look at the off the field stuff that this summer could provide, what are you excited for in that facet? Um, just the experience. I mean, I've never been up there to Walla Walla or that part of the U.S. So, um, just seeing that part of the United States would be cool. And um, you know, I'm excited. I don't really know what's up there, so I'll just have to wait and see. All right. Thanks. Uh, thanks for joining us today, and excited to have you up in Walla Walla in actually uh, a few weeks. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. A couple more weeks. That's Joe Heineman of Baylor. He and the rest of the Sweets will be at Borleski Stadium in just a week from now. Unbelievable to think we are so close to opening day against Victoria. That is next Friday on June 3rd. Crazy to think. We'll be there. Hopefully you are as well. But we'll have one more Harvest episode, and then we're done because the season's going to start. So thanks for joining us, and we'll talk to you next week.